Yeah. <laughs> you know, I decided to keep it simple and really <laughs> focus on what worked. So this is a extremely complex title, and I'll describe it a little bit more simply. I have uh, spent the past three years studying an organization called La Sociedad de Damas de Navitas de Beneficencia, which consisted entirely of upper class Jewish women in uh, the 1900s in Buenos Aires. Uh, they opened up three orphanages for abandoned Jewish girls, and I decided to study their performances of Tzedakah, which is basically a way of saying philanthropic work attached to religious beliefs. And I, I analyzed it using uh, Turner's idea of multi-vocal uh, symbols, which is that one symbol can have multiple purposes. And I'll get into all of that in my presentation. but. I guess I should explain why I'm presenting in this room and not in something else. Uh, the Jews I study belong to an ethnic group within Judaism called Ashkenazim or Ashkenazi. The group is defined by their Eastern European origin. There were and still are non-Ashkenazi populations living in Argentina, but my research focuses on an organization and community that consisted predominantly of Eastern European members. Um, I'm really pleased to be presenting my topic among you. Oh, there's a dog. <laughs> um, because uh, a large portion of Jewish studies is the study of diasporic populations. Scholars define the beginning of the Jewish diaspora to be as the destruction of the, the first temple in the year 70. So the Jewish culture considers the past 2,000 or so years to be their time in exile. Uh, the organization at the center of my study wasn't active until the 1900s, so my work is a very specific and recent aspect of the Jewish diaspora. I in no way can talk about the past 2,000 years. <laughs> Please don't ask. <laughs> um, so this is the orphanage run by my organization. Uh, so I study La Sociedad de Damas Israelitas, or De Beneficencia, the, or basically the Benevolent Society of Jewish Ladies and ladies was a very specific term they picked rather than women, uh, which was a welfare society in Buenos Aires that ran, ran from 1908 to 1980. The women of La Sociedad were of Eastern European descent and were members of Argentina's pre-existing financially stable Jewish population. The girls assisted by La Sociedad were mostly from Eastern European immigrant families that arrived in Buenos Aires from the 18, let's say 1880 onward. This was a time period of mass immigration to Argentina, and the Jews were some of the many ethnic groups that came to live in the country. Um, oh, it's getting. Uh, La Sociedad opened its first of three orphanages, orphanages in 1912. The women structured an upbringing for their wards that instilled in the girls patriotic ties to Argentina and a strong understanding of Jewish culture. The women provided their wards with an education that included academic topics in addition to housekeeping skills and vocational training. The wards were to leave La Sociedad's care with the tools they needed to obtain lives free from poverty, which was something they obviously didn't have when they entered the orphanage. So I studied tzedakah. Uh, the Hebrew word tzedakah is usually translated to English as charity, but this translation oversimplifies the religious aspects of the term and ignores its role in Jewish culture. The performances of tzedakah are charitable acts that are completed with the intention of creating a more just and righteous society. Moses Maimonides wrote a guide to Jewish life in 1185 that describes ideal acts of tzedakah as those that give people um, in need opportunities to become self-sufficient. This is what La Sociedad aimed to do when they opened their orphanages. The women wanted to provide the girls with the upbringing they needed to thrive. The idea that performances of tzedakah should help those uh, should help those create or obtain a future free from poverty is a vocality of the women's performances of tzedakah. Um, and I'll explain what that is. Oh, also, note Hebrew for Christians provided me this amazing graphic. So. So, <laughs> vocalities are the different meanings attached to symbols. A single symbol may have different purposes or significant aspects that appear depending on who en engages with the symbol and the context that the symbol is presented in. Uh, Victor Turner outlined his theories of symbols being multivocal in his 1973 book, The Forest of Symbols. Uh, Turner defined a symbol as the smallest unit of ritual which still retains the specific properties of ritual behavior. He explained how one symbol could have a different could have different vocalities that it could re represent a variety of things in the society 
it's used in. Oh, do you need help? Oh, oh it's just your phone. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, Turner wanted anthropologists to study symbols associated with religious rituals so that it could uncover uh, the symbols' vocalities and gain a better understanding of the culture in general. Vocalities uh, can indicate what society's goals are and what the population believes to be important. So I used Victor Turner's work to analyze La Sociedad's performances of Sadaka. And I did that uh, over the past three years. And uh, I studied the topic from historical, religious, and anthropological, <coughs> obviously anthropological perspectives. I received the Kendall Reeves Grant for Latin American Studies uh, in 2012, and I was able to go to Argentina and collect data there. The most valuable piece of information I got wasn't actually from Argentina, even though the trip was very useful, and I thank the school and the Kendall Reeves Foundation for giving me the money. Um, but the most valuable source of information I got were uh, the organization's old annual reviews, and I got 181 pages uh, basically describing La Sociedad's work in their own words. I used their work to look for information on the orphanages, the learning environment they provided to their wards, their events, their interactions with the greater Buenos Aires community, and how they believed they were helping others. This uh, information allowed me to identify a number of localities connected to La Sociedad's philanthropic work, and the following slides present some of those findings. Um, so, Sadaka as an obligation. This is a excerpt from an annual report, and it could be useful yeah, with my explanation. Uh, the women of La Sociedad understood caring for orphaned Jewish girls to be an obligation. The Jewish faith presents the idea of uh, as the world bro as a broken entity that requires Jews to tikkun alum, which basically means to repair the world. The women of La Sociedad saw their philanthropic work as a responsibility that God had given them and all Jews. <coughs> and that leads into Sadaka as an expression of Jewish values and Jewish identity. Performing Sadaka connected the women to La of La Sociedad to a strong Jewish identity. Sadaka was and still is a core value of the Jewish faith and is passed down like any other teaching of Torah, Torah um, la dor va dor, from generation to generation. The women of La Sociedad's performances of Sadaka displayed an aspect of Judaism they believed to defined their identity. The quote you see on the slide summarizes the identi that identity and the way the, wom the women wanted to see their work, and it's included in my title. Um, so Sadaka to improve the Jewish population of Argentina, and in, in is a vague